full of iconic lines, no fighting, razor blades, and riots, Killian Murphy's Tommy Shelby and the Peaky Blinders gang have taken the TV world by storm. Intelligence is a very valuable thing. Here are 10 facts you didn't know about Peaky Blinders. The show and its titular gang are inspired by a real gang. It might seem too good to be true, but the Peaky Blinders gang was very much a real staple of Birmingham life back in the early 1900s. The gang actually started out causing havoc as far back as the 1880s. Killian Murphy literally smoked thousands of cigarettes during filming. Just how many? Around 6,000. But don't worry, every cigarette that the Irish actor put to his lips was of an herbal variety. None of the 6,000 contained any nicotine or tobacco. Peaky Blinders might be so addictive it has us binge watching entire seasons at a time. But at least Killian Murphy knew well enough to steer clear of regular cigarettes. Jason Statham was originally considered to play the lead role. That's right, the hulking star of the Transporter series was almost the one wearing Tommy Shelby's iconic peaked cap. Statham was initially in the running for the role, but producers ultimately went in a different direction. There may be some days on set that leave Killian Murphy wishing this hadn't been the case, though. He has admitted that starring in Peaky Blinders takes its toll. I always come out of it destroyed but having felt like we have made something. Killian Murphy actually hates the Peaky Blinders haircut. Inspired by the real dues sported by Britain's hairiest criminals back in the day, Yet that fact doesn't make it more endearing to the man responsible for bringing it back into fashion. People like the undercut thing. People go to the barber and ask for a peaky cut. It's crazy that people like it. It's not grown on me in four years now. I normally keep my hair long. Sam Neill sought out some help from a legend to get his accent just right. Liam Neeson has a very particular set of skills are a very particular set of skills. And they include helping Sam Neill craft the perfect accent for his role as Jester Campbell. Stephen Knight, the creator of Peaky Blinders, also once created a hugely popular game show. You might have heard of it, especially if you've ever wanted to be a millionaire. Tom Hardy and Charlotte Riley are married in real life. The actors behind the Peaky characters of Alfie Solomon and Mae Carrollton have been together since 2009. Peaky Blinders uses the same horse trainers and horses as Game of Thrones. These aren't the only ties to the Song of Ice and Fire, either. Many actors have crossed over from the two shows, including the man behind Abarama Gold and Petter Littlefinger Baelish, a Den Gillen. In Peaky Blinders, Killian Murphy's Tommy Shelby never eats on screen. We've already covered how many cigarettes Murphy put in his mouth throughout the course of filming and Tommy Shelby is often spotted with a drink in hand. But aside from the instances in which Shelby tastes black root, the character is never once seen eating a substantial, nutritious meal. A movie is on the way. The series may have ended, but the Peaky Blinders story is far from finished. A feature-length movie is confirmed to be in the works, and Stephen Knight has hinted that there's even a possibility of a prequel, more spin-offs, or even a reboot. I like the idea of wartime or post-war Britain, cause it's a very different landscape, and I think it would be great to explore that. It brings a whole new look, and people dress differently and act differently, so it will be interesting. For now, Peaky Blinders fans will have to sit back, rewatch the series, and wait for more from the Peaky Blinders gang. In the meantime, remember, no fighting. Thanks for watching. Which episode of Peaky Blinders do you think is the very best?